hello guys welcome to surveyn solution your number one youtube channel where you get solutions to all your surveying problems so we are going to continue from where we stopped we have been able to get our partial coordinates in the like of delta nothing and delta Eastin. and if you look at this and um, completion sheet you will see that we have a new column file for arithmetic sum for nothing and then the arithmetic sum for delta Eastin. so the arithmetic sum is just like rounding this year either delta nothing or your delta eastern whether positive or negative to the nearest whole number that is what you just get for your arithmetic sum and you add it up cumulatively so what do i mean by that we have 23.883 here so the nearest whole number for this is what 24 so you are going to write 24 here by the time you now come to this you find out that the nearest whole number to this is what 44 so the arithmetic sum for this will now be the 24 you have plus the 44 here yeah? then you get the arithmetic sum for this remember i said you round it up to the nearest whole number so for the first one after rounding it up to the nearest whole number you just write it down here yeah? then subsequently you start adding cumulatively so by the time you round this to the nearest whole number you have 44 so when you add it to this first one you have the arithmetic sum for the next station i just hope that explanation is clear however if it is not clear as we now progress by pressing it on our calculator it will become clearer so now let's continue so our first arithmetic sum here is what is 24 so there is no addition we just write our 24 there because the nearest whole number to 23.8 is what is 24 so now this 24 we come to this next one which is 43 43.7 is equal to is approximately equal to 44 therefore we have 24 plus what 44 which is equal to 68 so the arithmetic sum for the next station is what 68 so i said whether positive or negative you just round it up to the nearest whole number so rounding this up to the nearest whole number will give you 205 so 205 plus our last 68 is what 273 now we have 0 0.660 0 0.6 is approximately equal to 1 so we say plus 1 we have 274 we come to the last one on our nothing which is 26.738 and 26.7 is approximately equal to what 27 so we have 240 274 plus what 27 so we have 301 same thing is applicable to our what our delta eastern so we have 202.790 the nearest to number here is what 203 so since we have 203 we just write it out so 203 plus if you run this up to the nearest to number you have 112 so you have 112 so we have a um, 315 yeah so this is 41 41.149 is still same thing as 41 so we have plus what plus 41 which is what 356 we come down to this place whether positive or negative you just use it as a positive value and then if you run this up to the nearest whole number 249.536 is same thing as 250 so we say plus what plus 250 which is what 606 you come to this one here which is 171.087 and 171.07 is approximately equal to what 171 so we still have 171 therefore the last arithmetic sum here is what 777 this is it it is very simple how did we go about it let me just take a recap again i said you round the delta nothing which is your partial coordinate to the nearest whole number and for the next line you add it cumulatively so when we rounded this up to the nearest whole number we had 24 rounding this up to the nearest whole number is what 44 so 24 plus 44 gave us this 24 plus 44 gave us this same thing happened to this we have 205 here yeah? plus 205 gave us this so that was how we went until we got to this point i believe by the time you do the same thing which we actually did for our other esteem you will also get to this point so this brings us to the end of this particular video 
I hope you've been able to follow up from the beginning where we started with the um, introduction to traversing, understanding traversing, how to arrange your controls. I believe by the time you follow up those series and then you get to this point, there is no challenge that should come your way because everything has been explained in a way that is very clear. So um, on our next video, we are going to tell you how you are going to apply those your partial coordinates to get your words, to get your uncorrected coordinates. Because the essence of those delta nothing and your delta isting, we are talking about these values here. The essence of this delta nothing and this delta isting is for us to what? It's for us to use them on these controls here. The coordinates of these controls to get the uncorrected coordinate for each of the points. For each of the points. So that will be the content on our next video and i know you don't want to miss it and please please i'm begging you please try and subscribe to the channel like this video invite your friends so that they don't miss out anything and turn on your notifications as well that bell needs to ring thank you very much for coming around and have a nice time see you in the next video